How do, how do you prove a black hole? How do you know those gravitational waves proved the collision of two black holes? Somehow, eventually, they are able to observe phenomena. No, they that can't observe. <laughs> it's too far away. It's too theoretical. How do we know what they're saying is true? It, you know what it really is? It's all science fiction. <laughs> is it possible that life exists on that planet that's only a shadow in a telescope? Those are the imaginative things that NASA are looking at that's every bit as passionately imaginative as science fiction. You've inspired so many people to enter the sciences. How do you balance science with science fiction? They're both the same. The, the mystery of science fiction is what I'm talking about. Science and science fiction are essentially the same. Thank you very much. Just like William Shatner just stated, science and science fiction are one of the same. And the whole concept, the whole idea of Nibiru and this supposed cataclysm that's going to take place in the future with Nancy Leiter. And that's what I want to get into, the plan names with these people that put these ideas in your head. Of course, they're connected to those behind the scenes. You know, as always, they love to mock in the name, again, Leiter. Take away the D and you get Liar. And the whole idea of Nancy Leiter supposedly being abducted by these aliens from Zeta Reticuli and having an implant put in her brain. I mean, this is stuff of movies, and again, that's all it is. For those that follow my channel, you'll know we live on a flat Earth. There is no deep space. All we have is inner space. And just take a look at Nancy Leiter. I believe a trans investigation is needed on this thing. Take a look at these these photos. Not Clooney. <laughs> But, again, looks like a man to me. But this is not the point of this video. Now, to move on here, I found this interesting as well. Again, with a play on names in science fiction. And, of course, as always, these people that make it on top of this world, they are occultist. With Lyman Spitzer Jr., again, play names with the Lyman. Okay, the whole idea, the whole concept of the Hubble telescope was from him. And, of course, they supposedly have the Spitzer Space Telescope. You know, all it is is basically nothing more than CGI, nothing more than a composite. But that's all you need to do. All the masses need to see is this phony, garbage, basic CGI composite photo, supposed photo or image. Nothing more than an artist's conception drawing. And that's all they need to know. That's all they need to see to believe in these lies. And an interesting backstory with Lyman Spitzer. He just so happened to attend Yale where he graduated the, the Phi Beta Kappa in 1935 and was a member of Skull and Bones. What, what an amazing coincidence for all those coincidences out there that believe there are no conspiracies. Of course, all the connections with George Bush, John Kerry, and Skull and Bones. Okay, It's all about Freemasonry. Take a look here at some of these photos. You see older Bush here. And of course, running back in 2004, John Kerry, George Bush. It just so happens two supposed graduates of Yale going against each other. Left versus right, Democrat versus Republican. Unbelievable how people can't connect all these simple pieces to put together. And they're just in love with the lie system. They can't step out. It's just much easier just to go with the flow with like all the rest of society, just believing the lies. And again, there are no supposed conspiracies. Just like you have here, Jack Parsons. Move this over a bit. Of course, an occultist. A Thelemite occultist. Basically, you know, protege of Aleister Crowley and the Thelemic Society. I'll scroll down here. Here, of course, you see Werner von Braun, former Nazi. Scroll down a bit more, you're gonna there's Jack Parsons. And here, of course, is Aleister Crowley and the, the Lima Society. You know, pretty obvious. You know, all the connections here with supposed space. I find it interesting with his name, with his original name, Marvel Parsons, like Marvel Comics as well. Just nothing more than fantasy. 
And basically what it all comes down to, these people behind rocketry, the goal was not to get into space. They can't get into space. The whole purpose behind the rocketry industry throughout the world is just getting a rocket that is capable enough to just basically get up in the, get up in the sky and basically do its arch and land in the ocean. Nothing more than, again, as I stated many times, these rockets are nothing more than expensive fireworks. As I show many times, the supposed launch of these space shuttles by NASA. <laughs> yeah, like they're really going to space. Don't tell me this low Earth orbit garbage supposedly going around the ball Earth. Why doesn't anybody videotape the supposed space shuttle launches as they go around the low Earth orbit around the other side of the ball? They don't. This is all you see. Basically, again, they just crash in the ocean. Okay, you're going to believe these liars. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> Look at that. Unbelievable. It's so easy to fool people. You know, especially this one here. Just look at this one. Going into space. It's not going into space. It's just staying within the firm and that's all it can do. Staying within. Cannot get in outer space. And rockets, even suppose if there was no ferment, <laughs> how do rockets work without oxygen? Of course, they're going to give you these phony baloney stories how they mix they mix this compound with the jet fuel to give it oxygen to work in space. But it's all nothing more than science fiction. That's all it is. You know, just like this whole concept here. This is from my one of my past videos. Jim Morrison's breaking through to the other side to talk about how it's basically referring to the firmament. As you see here, this supposed spatial. Of course, they don't launch straight up. So they can't get past the firmament once again. So you have Lyman Spitzer, again, the plan names. You have Nancy Leiter. Again, trans investigation needed. <laughs> Definitely with this photo here. Now, all the connections you have, again... Zachary Ascension, okay, the whole idea of the 12th planet and Nibiru, Planet X, doing a Masonic handshake with Jordan Maxwell. Okay, take a look here, Jordan Maxwell with the planet in the back, <laughs> subconscious programming, and the connection with Hollywood with Disney's Michael Eisner, and of course, George Lucas with Star Wars. Again, the whole idea of outer space, other planets, other worlds. Other life forms. Here's just another photo with George Lucas speaking with someone in the back. And then you see here again, Jordan Maxwell with David Icke. Now, one thing I want to mention too, all these people that are in love with the idea of outer space, other worlds, aliens, the idea of Nibiru, and this whole, again, cataclysm pushed off by Nancy Leiter, or again, more like Nancy Lyer, Science is based off observation and experiment. No one has seen any of these things. Again, all we get are concept composites from, of other universes, other planets. There's, there's no images, no photos of any black holes. It's all, again, science fiction, just like William Shatner stated in the very beginning of the video. And just to conclude, I'm going to play my previous video for those that have not seen it, how the so-called elite love a play on names. Again, with the whole entire concept with Lyman Spitzer and Nancy Leiter. Well, I think our, all our society is run by insane people for insane objects, mm. objectives. You yeah, know? Yeah. And I think that's what I sussed when I was 16 and 12, way down the line. But I expressed it differently all through my life. It's the same thing I'm expressing all the time. But now I can put it into that sentence that I think we're being run by maniacs for maniacal mean uh, ends, you know. If, if anybody can put on paper what our government and the American government, etc., and the Russian, Chinese, what they are actually trying to do, you know, and how, what they think they're doing, mm. I'd be very pleased to know what they think they're doing. I think they're all insane, you know, but I'm liable to be put away as insane for expressing that. You know, that's what's insane about it. And 
this video is all about the psychopaths that are behind the scenes pulling the strings, even to people like John Lennon. John Lennon is speaking a lot of truth in the beginning of this video. I understand it's very complex in the way they work, using their puppets to tell you truth. No one's going to take a musician seriously. No one's going to take a movie seriously or a TV show seriously so they can leak the truth out as a form of mockery. Now, talking about play on names throughout history when it comes to your fabricated news, just like I covered recently with the Columbus, Ohio shooting hoax, when they use this supposed witness, Sidney Fugazi, and Fugazi, a play on names, as something that is fake or false. I have it spelled with one Z here, of course. I have it for with two Zs with their name. It's all about the occult of 33 when it comes to Freemasonry. Going back in time a little bit with Christine Leinenen, as in she's lying to you, the supposed mother of one of the victims at the supposed shooting at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, Florida. Again, a play on names. Just like going back in time here as well, with the first woman supposedly in space, Sally Ride, like she's taking a ride into space. Just like Bernie Madoff, supposedly made off with your money. You have here as well Anthony Weiner showing off his Weiner. John Bobbitt getting his penis supposedly bobbed off. This guy went on to make adult films. Give me a break. He had his thing cut off. Then goes on to make pornos. What a complete joke. Then you have Sandy Hook with a supposed goofball corner, Dr. Carver. How nice. A corner named Dr. Carver. Just take a look at this quick clip again of this goofball. Completely ridiculous. What a weirdo. Definitely a lot of strange things happening in this world. Talking about, again, getting back to this Orlando shooting hoax with Christine Leinenen. Then you have the coroner from Dr. Carver and Sandy Hook. Then with the Orlando shooting hoax, you had Dr. Parrish, as in people are perishing. And then you had Dr. Cheatham. Give me a break. Just another goofball crisis actor. Take a look at his face. I mean, again, complete garbage. Now, you had also Dr. Lube. You know, it's a gay nightclub but next to Angel Cologne. Again, another play on names with next to Dr. Lube. Take a look here at Boston. The supposed Boston bombing. Nothing more than a smoke bomb with Joker Zarnayev. With Joker being Joker, as you can see here. And, and Joker, by the way, just so happens to be 33. Playing with us, toying with us like we're children. SFO plane crash hoax. Captain something Wong, ho, we too low, holy F, bang ding ow. And again, I said it many times, people fall for the lies that, oh, this was an intern who gave this information out to KTVU. It was all by accident. This wasn't meant to be leaked out. No, they wanted this out. Again, a form of mockery. Let's just take a listen to this actual broadcast by KTVU. And then you have this crisis actor child wearing the Skull and Bones t-shirt. And of course, it's orange for 33. They got to put their fingerprints everywhere for all to see. This is how they do it. As you can see, the skull and bones, you see Bush here. Everything's in plain sight for those have, that have eyes to see. And again, a play on names with this one supposed journalist, more like con artist, Sally Khan. Like she is a con artist, and that's what she is. Take a look at this hideous creature. Look at all the Masonic hand signs. Masonry and Satanism is one and the same. The devil horns. Oh, she's not doing the devil horns. Oh, no. She's not doing the 666 hands. Oh, no, this doesn't mean that. She, she's just saying everything's A-OK -okay or she just made a three-point shot. People just have too much pride and too much ego 
to admit they've been lied to, not only about some things, but about everything. In this world, if you want to find the truth, you've got to start all over and basically forget everything you're taught. And again, start all over. People can't go down that path. It's too far to go. I'm talking about, again, Sally Khan, this Khan artist. What do you see? The Masonic hand sign. You think this is all just a coincidence with all these hand signs? You're definitely a coincidence theorist. Just like with Angela Merkel doing the diamond sign. I pointed out this out many times in the past. She's basically holding the number 33 right in plain sight with diamond being 33. Of course, the same exact symbol as this order out of chaos sign with the basically upside down pyramid or the diamond. Diamonds and pyramids are one and the same. I've covered that subject before in a previous video. You could check my channel out for that for that video, specific video. Now here's another play on names. I mentioned this before, as well with Candy Crowley. Basically the occult of Aleister Crowley. And of course you get your CC for 33 as well. Just like Mr. Crowley with Ozzy Osbourne. It just so happens with Ozzy Osbourne, his name, he was born John Osbourne. The reason for Ozzy Osbourne, you get your cult of 66. All, of course, has to do with Freemasonry, just like I showed so many times with his Grand Sovereign Commander, the Dual 33s. I found this pretty interesting as well with this Hot Wheel dedicated to Ozzy Osbourne. Just take a look at the specific Hot Wheel. Take a look at the make and the model of the car in the year. It's a Dodge Ram. 1966, you have your A100. The A is, of course, the first letter in the alphabet. You get your A for 1. You get your 11. You get your metal. Metal, of course, MM for 33. You get your real riders. Again, they love the duality. MM and RR. Just taking a little bit closer look at this. All these concepts are not pulled out of thin air. Everything they do there is a reason. Mattel, all these big companies are owned and controlled by Masons, just like everything else in this world. Now, talking about Aleister Crowley, taking a look at Marvin Bush, and look at the similarities. And why is this? It's Barbara Bush, basically the daughter of Aleister Crowley. Look at George Bush when he was younger. Look at the resemblance. Definitely a connection. This is the bloodline. They're all related now. Talking about the news and the psychopaths that own and control this world, they love, again, a play of names. Look at this. Deer in headlights, Wolf Blitzer. The name Wolf, like wolf in sheep's clothing. And I found this pretty interesting. Take a look at Wolf Blitzer's profile. Supposedly born on March 22nd. Of course, March being the third month of the year, you get your 322. All about skull and bones. Like I showed earlier. And also, he's supposedly born in Germany, in Augsburg. Just so happened, Augsburg is 33. So with Wolf Blitzer, you get your, again, 322, and you get your 33. Now, taking a look at this one news story going back in time, with this tornado in Moore, Oklahoma. And this is nothing more than complete garbage, nothing more than green screen. I'm going to show this video. Again, your news is nothing more than propaganda. They're not going to spend precious airtime, which is very expensive, you know, basically covering real news. They'll, they'll cover real news stories. They'll give it a little bit of play. They'll cover it for a few minutes. Then that story goes away. In this case, where a real tornado took place in Moore, Oklahoma, they took this opportunity to spin it. A real tornado, but they're going to push their propaganda. Just take a look at this green screen. Complete garbage. And again, the complete pop propaganda with this woman basically pushing atheism. Take a listen. Without a shadow of a doubt, filmed in a studio. There's Brian, he's Brian. Yeah, Brian, you like Brian, huh? That's your yes. dad. <laughs> but we're happy you're here. Look at this sicko touch his feet. You don't need to touch his kid's feet. Sick freak. You guys did a great job. Uh, touch the mic. I guess you got to thank the Lord, right? Yeah. Do you thank the Lord? Do you thank the Lord? Of course. Really trying to get into the subconscious, asking twice. 
for that split second decision? I, I, I'm, I'm actually an atheist. No, you are. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there and that's taking place here. Supposedly flying wolf blitzer all the way to more Oklahoma with this woman here laughing and smiling with this destruction everywhere in plain sight. Nothing more than an actress. Complete mockery. Again, filmed in a studio, 100% green screen. And of course, they always have their little Easter eggs. Here's with your ball earth all in plain sight. Uh, talking about Easter eggs, truth in movies, lies in the news, also truth in music. They put the truth in plain sight, where it's least expected. This is the world of opposites, the world of duality with Toto, the band Toto, just like the movie The Wizard of Oz and the little dog named Toto. It's all about the O-T-O. -O. This one song I found pretty interesting that was released last year. Like I stated many times, these songs for these lyrics are given to these bands. They don't devise these concepts whatsoever. They're nothing more than solace, nothing more than puppets. With the song, again, the 21st Century Blues. Used to be you could trust what you heard. The channels were three. When the news didn't seem so absurd, the words set you free. And now they tell you what to think and that the sky is green. Am I the only one to see it's a big machine? Someone tell me, how can you believe the world is round? I just can't conceive it. And if you believe that this band, Toto, came up with these lyrics. Again, you're 100% deceived. It's people behind the scenes, again, pulling the strings. They know millions upon millions of people will be listening to these lyrics. They're not going to leave it up to chance to let these bands create their own songs. It's always about propaganda. Everything is about propaganda when it comes to music, movies, and the news. Okay, Just like this newsman, supposed newsman, nothing more than a paid propagandist, Don Lemon. And again, the play on names. Don Lemon is selling you lemons. And I wonder if Don Lemon even gets the gets the hint of why he was put in that position, why he was propped up. Again, it's the psychopaths behind the scenes, pulling the strings, just laughing their butts off at the dumbed-down sheep that don't see what's taking place. It's a complete joke. This whole world is nothing but a complete joke, again, run by these psychopaths. We have new information now also on the plane crash. KTVU has just learned the names of the four pilots who were on board the flight. They are Captain Sum Ting Wong, Wee Tu Lo, Ho Li Fook, and Bang Ding Ao. The NTSB has confirmed these are the names of the pilots on board Flight 214 when it crashed. We are working to determine exactly what roles each of them played during the landing on Saturday.